Summer Split MVP, Yankos! A little bit of trouble. Mickey's going to jump into Perks. And now Jack Shaw gets caught oh. down. Yankos with a flash over the wall. Cocoon and a venomous bite will secure the kill. Yankos isn't done yet, though. Yeah, they're looking for the hook onto Attila. They land and they land the cocoon. And they get the kill as well. Caught out. He pops a feather, pops a feather. Sword, but Yankos is here. And he will smite Reckless where he stands. Like Cash now laying down a bit more damage. Playing a bit with fire here, but knocks Kirai under the tower. That's going to be disastrous. That's going to be the shutdown for Yankos. Leader and Duff now have to run. Dust might be next on the menu. Leader could be first. The double kill coming in. There we go. They know Caps doesn't have all. He's stunned up. And here comes Bob. McCaff steals away the out and knocks Nemesis back into the tower and Yakuts is on his way. Nemesis has to get away, but the Cataclysm will chase him down. And Khan is able to win the fight. Now they re-engage. This time from Faker into the tower. Perks is trying to get the damage out. As Yanko stays alive, the tower helping out. Faker goes down. Here comes Khan. No slicing Maelstrom. The target for now is Mata. The turn, the burn. Mickey comes in with the interrupt. Yankos is impeccable on this job. It's time to hear from one of the best League of Legends players. We got the MVP of the LEC Summer Split, Yankos, on the line after G2 secured yet another title. Yankos, how are you feeling? Hello, everyone. I'm, I'm feeling good. That's awesome. Uh, G2, let's talk about the team because, you know what, you guys have been doing amazing, not just in League, but in many other esports titles. Um, but for you, you know, ever since you joined G2, they've been performing very well. So at this point, what does like G2 really mean to you? I mean, I think it's probably the best team I have been playing in so far. Um, I didn't find as much success in my previous rosters, but um, this year uh, we have been, you know, really dominant. We won Europe twice and we also showed up at MSI and, and got the trophy. Um, right now we are kind of focusing on Worlds. We, are start, we will start our bootcamp in about uh, five to six days from now. We'll have, we'll have two weeks before uh, Worlds to, to prepare for like the best teams in the world and then uh, see, see how it goes. <laughs> That's very exciting. Do you do you ever think back to like your raw cat H2K days and be like, wow, I've really come really far? I mean, honestly, I always try to focus on the present, so I don't really look at the past. I mean, I feel like I made a lot of mistakes in my career, but I also try to learn from them a lot. So, I mean, currently I'm playing in G2 and I'm really happy with the roster. I'm really happy with how I play and how my team plays. So I just try to focus on whatever is happening right now. That's fair. Now G2 has really built up a reputation across all teams, you know, as being huge memers with, you know, even <laughs> Ocelot. Uh, you guys really set the bar high for trash talking. So what do you think about all of that? Yeah, I mean, I think we are just a really fun team overall. We like to joke a lot and we like to banter a lot. And since we are winning, then there is no stopping us. <laughs> we just trash talk everyone. Um, and I think it's kind of interesting, you know, it's it's not as boring when you when you have banter going on between you and your opponents. But a lot of the EU teams, um, they don't really take it personal, but they don't answer us like we would like to be answered, you know, they, they don't really like trash talk us back but hopefully during worlds um it will happen that's funny you bring that up because you know like g2 you guys have been so dominant in eu as a whole it's almost like people expect you guys to always win every single split so how does that expectation you know affect you when you're playing when you're practicing your mentality i don't think we think i don't think as a team we think about you know what people really expect us to do even when we went to msi or even right now uh, when we are going to worlds we don't really expect ourselves to you know place number one or anything we kind of go um, game by game and team practice by team practice and we will just see how how we do at worlds the same as we saw how we did at msi and even in the finals against fanatic where people would say that we are the clear favorites and we should take a trio uh we kind of knew fanatic is a good team and uh, and we wanted to give him the respect they deserve mm -hmm. the rivalry between both g2 and fanatic you know that's the narrative that lec pushes often do you feel that rivalry and do you have like a personal rival i think i I always wanted to win against Fnatic because throughout my whole career uh, in different teams I would lose to Fnatic a lot. I don't think I won against Fnatic more than I lost to Fnatic. So every time I face Fnatic I want to win. Um, even if it's playoffs or regular season or any other scenario, it doesn't really, I, I don't really care what is it, I just want to win against Fnatic. So 
winning against Fnatic twice now uh, in in playoffs in the kind of the semi-finals and the finals uh, feel really good <laughs> I have to say it's really, really good I'm sure I'm sure now in another interview you did uh, you mentioned that you were looking forward to meeting Faker at World and taking a picture with him and you even called yourself a fanboy uh, would you say that he's a player that you admire the most I mean, I think Faker won Worlds like three or four times, right? So he's like kind of the legend of League and he was always really dominant. Back in the day when people were playing uh, the same game as him, I felt like he was ahead like two, three years. But right now I felt like, I feel like people caught up and it's, Faker is actually beatable and um, you know we even we won um, against SKT during MSI and I was really really happy winning against Faker in a serious competition and not only uh, during All-Stars and I really hope I can face him again during uh, Worlds because I'm still kind of a fanboy. I don't even want to take a picture though because it could give him like a mental edge that a player from enemy team is his fanboy and that could make him like think low about me or something so i don't really want to take a picture or anything but maybe if we beat them or maybe if we don't face them until the final i i could sneak sneak a picture yeah <laughs> i like how you're thinking that far ahead already like the mind games and everything um so at this point in your career yankos you're very accomplished with numerous achievements like you mentioned msi title regional titles what else for you would you like to accomplish I mean, in the past, I didn't really win a lot. This has been the year, the best year in my career uh, where I won so much with G2. So hopefully I want to continue it. I want to leave a legacy behind me. So uh, my goals right now is to obviously win Worlds or at least do as best as I can and as I can with my team as well. Because I mean, I think we can win the whole thing, but I don't want to be too cocky and I don't really want to say that yeah clearly we are the favorites and clearly we'll win uh, because you know both China and Korea are really strong regions and they maybe not so much but I think Team Liquid is fine um, and then going into 2020 after Worlds I, I still want to, to be dominant in Europe. All right well you know to wrap it all up a lot of people I'm sure ask you this because G2 has somehow found a way to mesh all your personalities, all your styles, and we have the G2 we see today so dominant. I want to know from your perspective, what do you think is the secret that you guys, that makes you guys so successful? I think everyone in the roster is really talented and we have really good team cohesion in our team because for some reason uh, our personalities are very alike. So we never or rarely have any problems and whenever we have a problem we can fix it really easy because everyone is so focused and so eager to win that we leave all the bad things behind kind of and we focus on like the good things or we resolve uh, issues really easily so i'm pretty happy to work in this team and uh, i think we can we can achieve a lot of things well all of us here at squad wish you the very best in everything you want to accomplish Yankos. thank you so much for your time thank you